Hi, good morning, everyone. This is the Friday, April 17th. Another great new day is come to us. Good morning, everyone. How are you? I hope you feel strong. Nobody s i c k that we are in God. Your faith. Make your faith is very strong in this trial time. Today, i s very famous story. The daily bread is that it's the learning to know God. The daily bread is the April 17th. It talks about the John chapter 6, verse 16 to 21. Maybe I read first to this one to every one. John chapter 6 verse 16. When evening came, his disciples went down to the lake, where they got into a boat and set up across the lake for g a b a n a u m By now it was dark, and Jesus had not yet joined them. A strong wind was blowing and the water growing rough. When they had low three or three and a half miles, they saw Jesus approaching the boat, walking on the water, and they were terrified. But he said to them, It is I? Don't be afraid. Then they were willing to take him into the boat and immediately the boat reached the shore where they were heading. This is a very simple story, especially in John, the book of John. It's making its very uh, short uh, explanation. But this is the same story it's in the book of Matthew. Book of Mark and Book of John, they're the same story, but some book writing more detail. Especially the Mark, uh, uh, Book of March, that is more detail. So all together, these uh, three book is making the story like this. When Jesus feeding five thousand on the uh, the field where they have the no food, that is the Bethesda uh, field, at the other side of Galilee of c a b e r n a u m When he showed this miracle, and then the people was so uh, surprising because that the miraculous thing, and then uh, they come to the uh, Jesus. You are the prophet, and then they try to make him certain leader, and Jesus already got the sense. They try to make me the king by force, so he just uh, away from the crowd and tell the uh, disciple, "Hey guys, you go ahead to across the Galilee, the sea, and to the Gabonaum." I will take care of this crowd, and then you go. So the the disciple they went to the boat, and then Jesus the making the crowd is the this uh, disciple, and he went to the near to a hill, went to pray for a while, and then after pray. It's already the boat is the uh, about the ten mile away, and then he saw the boat. The boat is the blowing the wind, and then the water is the rough, and he saw the disciple is trying to rowing and making it uh, because the seas become the rough. That is the situation. But the, on the boat. The disciple, they they, are, they try to uh, making the maneuvering the boat, 
uh, on in the uh, Rough Sea, and then they still waiting the Jesus coming, because he say you go, I will follow you, and then they are expecting Jesus come by another boat, and they have certain little faith. Why? Why is our Lord is not coming? But uh, what happened? They saw one something walking under the water. That Jesus saw the their disciple is the uh, under Galilee. They have very hard time, so he he decide to go to the boat by walking on the water. But in the side of the boat, when they see something, it's a dark, it's around the um, early morning, 3 a.m., 4 a.m., still very dark, something is approached. So everybody was this ghost. But they are, very, they are very terrified. But when it's come to near, they found it's the Jesus, it's the Lord. So, what happened? They said, uh, one of the, their uh, disciple name is the Peter. He, Peter was, uh, you know, he's a very hot temper, and then he's very brave. And then Peter, it said in March, uh, Jesus immediately said to them, take courage, it is I, don't be afraid. And Peter said, Lord, if it's you? Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Peter is, is very is the fascinating, but he said, if it's you, the Lord, tell me, come to the water. And Jesus said, come. He said, then Peter got down out of the boat and walk on the water, come toward the Jesus. So Peter is the out of boat, he walk on the water toward the, to Jesus, because Jesus is on the water. So he step water, he walk. But when he saw the wind, when he saw the wind, he saw the afraid beginning to sink. When he saw the, when he walked toward to Jesus, he can walk. But when he suddenly see the wind and water, he start to sink down to the water, and then Jesus grab him. Jesus grab him, and <clears throat> what he said, "You little face, why did you doubt?" Because Peter is, he, he did not know he really can walk. But when he just uh, singing the Jesus, nothing else, and he really walked. But he come to see the sight to the wind and the water, he doubt, how can I walk on the water? And then he start to sing. You little face, why did you doubt? And when they climb into the boat, the wind died down. So after that, the Jesus come into the boat and wind down, it become the calm. And the disciple, really surprising, this miraculous thing. You know what happened just a while ago, a few hours before? What happened? Jesus saw two loaves, uh, two fish, and five loaves feeding 5,000. It's not actually 5,000. they counting only the men, including the woman and some the young child. It might be 20,000. They're feeding them, and still something left over. It was so miraculous when Jesus prayed to God and let them share in. 
20,000 people is eat enough. This is so miraculous. But when they go to the boat, and they, when they saw the Jesus, Jesus is the walking on the water, they do not still trust that Jesus is so powerful, so miraculous. He's the Son of God. Because people tell the people, yeah, he is the prophet. What's the prophet? In all the Old Testament, God sent the prophet. And then in in the uh, New Testament, when they when people say prophet, it's kind of God promised prophet is Messiah. Messiah. Messiah meaning Christ, Jesus, Christ. So they try to make him as a king because so powerful person God sent to us to free them from the Roman Empire. And this is the one who's saving us. This is what the God promised to the people of Israel, I will send one day the Messiah to save you. So this one is the uh, what people think, but they do not see the real will of the God. He sent his the only son and saved the people, not the save the Israel from the Roman. That is political thing. It's to save the day of people. Because now many people, they have a faith. Yeah, everybody go to the, their own religion. You know, um, Islam, Buddha, uh, Christian, all the religion. But many of them is to go to worship God, praise God, they give something to the God, and then they are waiting something God will give to me. Because I worship you, I exalt your name, I praise you, I also offer my offering, so you have to bless me. That is kind of, even you know, in Mexican, they worship to the uh, the sun, the altar. They have sacrificed to show the blood, and they feel the. Uh, this is kind of the old, the religion, but today, many of us still have the same attitude. We make happy the God, our God, and. He, she is blessing me. Something exchanging it. I did it, you have to do it. So if he did not bless me, we are very disappointed, we are very angry. That kind of, you know, Buddha, their statues, they go to pray, worship. Every time they go there, 108 times the bow, standing up, bow. It's so big exercise and a lot of sweat, but they have to do it. In Christian church, also same. Some Catholic church, also same. When you touch something, the statues, the saint, maybe that can give me the blessing. It's all kind of idol but God is not that our Christianity is the word of God is tell about Jesus Christ why he sent the Jesus Christ our Christianity is not like the literal face we worship we offering and you have to give me the blessing it's not because of God Almighty, who is our creator, maker. Because of him, we worship him. And because of him, we see ourselves. 
we found we are the sinner and we repent we change ourselves because of God I will change it's not something giving to me I change myself my life my attitude my thinking so many things what I used to do it is change so I become the new person and I become to look for the right goal and purpose I find real life goal because of God because of Jesus Christ so is Christianity is quite different not literally we giving worship God more and more I go to more uh, church so I read the more Bible so God has to bless me more than other people but my life still never change because that is my life why I uh, why should I change already I did what God asked me to I already tithe offering so the blessing is coming my life still can carry on because this is for my profit this is the way of my life but Christianity is not because that Almighty God in front of us because he sent his only son the Jesus Christ die on the cross and clean our sin whoever accept him and come to him and make him to my Lord and Savior because of him is not blessing because of it I change I can see my sin so many people depending he has the new life new commandment new life new way to go that is the kingdom of God here yeah. so today the disciples saw the miraculous one but why Jesus go there to the water walking and close to the boat and disciples very afraid and they are very uh, terrified because Jesus at least the disciple let them see God Jesus is the God because even disciple they do not trust believe so the, he's showing some miraculous thing to his own disciple so when he's come to the boat all the sea is calm so when we are with the Jesus few days ago we talked about same thing in Galilee in Lapsi Jesus still sleep in the storm and then people the disciple complain again why you still in why why you do not do something for us and then he be quiet quiet be still he ordered the sea but today he showed he walking under the water so we see the something here Peter can walk on the water why when he just see the Lord Jesus and step on the water he can walk but when his sight is turned from the Jesus to to the world to the wind to the last sea and he starts sinking so in our life if we go to other to God even surrounding a lot of danger if we to other to the God we can do it but when we see our attention to surrounding it surrounding especially the fear and we sinking we already away from the God 
we are singing in the world, the terrified. You know, God, even we are the children of God, we are the believer, we are the Christian, very faithful. The Father, our God, always gives storm to our life. It's not always the peaceful. A storm is coming. But that time, we think, oh, my God, it forsake me, abandon me. Why he giving this difficult thing, situation? And also, it's even we are praying, the answer is not coming immediately. So we thought, maybe God forgot me. He do not love me anymore. Why he do not answer me? So we could not wait totally late the long time. But like when the disciple have a hard time on the sea, the Jesus saw it. He walked to the the our Lord. The God is always come to us. He always look for us. We should remember. In this world, there are two kind of attitude. When there is the fear, difficult come. One kind of people, those people really living on the constant constant fear those people who living under constant fear when fear come they could not do anything they are pressed down the fear they are hiding 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 they cannot speak they cannot move because of fear living under constant fear there's another second one. It's the those people who fighting against the fear. When fear is come, two kind of people living under constant fear, fighting against the fear, fear. What are you? This one? This one. You are fighting with the fear? Or you are away afraid and living under the fear. The fear always comes. That is the plan of God to train us, making us strong. And then, like the when Israel, when they enter to Canaan land the promised land what god promised when they exodus from egypt after moses is died and the new leader the joshua is bring the their israel the tribe to enter the Canaan, and god promised him the book of joshua chapter 1 verse 9 have i command you be strong and courage, courageous. Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you are. Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. We have to have this word. We Christian, when the fear comes, we are fighting against the fear. This coronavirus comes to us. If we are away, away, very fear, fear, 
where will we go the last end? You have no more place to hide in. But once you fighting against the fear, God will be with you wherever you go. That is promise that God promised to Joshua in many years ago is same to us. Is same to us. It was three thousand years ago the what God promised Joshua. Still today God is tell us do not be terrified, do not be discouraged. Be strong. Whenever we face the fear, be strong. Under this kind of coronavirus, yeah, there are many victims, especially aged people, elderly people. But be strong. God said, I will be with you wherever you go. So when God, the Jesus on the boat, everything become quiet. So in our life, if we have God, our Lord Jesus Christ, in our life, do not worry. He is with us. Amen. Be strong. Like the Joshua, he finally go take the whole the land of the Canaan and then where the Israel people is living. In our life, because of God, Almighty God, we change. Not do not change the God making him blessed to us. That is uh, so many religions. Mexican, Peru, Korea, Totemism, Buddhist, so many things. They making God happy and then blessing to us. They try to change the God, the mood and feeling. It's not. God is God. Never change. Because of him, we have to change. You have to change. Way of thinking, the way of life, the attitude. Before I used to very angry to something, but because of God, I am relaxing, I'm smiling, I'm accepting. That is the because of God. We have to change. That is the Christianity, most powerful thing. Not like other religion. Because of God, we have to change. We call it born again because of Lord Jesus Christ. Do not afraid. Be strong. God is with us wherever we go. Amen? Yes. Let's pray. Our Father God, you are the reason to change our life, our way of thinking, our attitude to other people. Because of you, I am now a different person. The parents cannot change me, but you, our Lord, Jesus, you are the one who changed my life. We trust you, your promise. I will be with you wherever you go. Be strong. Do not be terrified. Yes, you are with us. Let share this faith to those who follow you and pray under the 
a lot of fear of coronavirus and others where to get the food. Be with them. We trust you. Please touch them. Encourage them. To stand up fighting against the fear with your power. Thank you. Give us the great new day. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. All God people said, Amen. Amen. Thank you, everyone. Be strong. I hope tomorrow in new day. See you again. Bye.